Good morning. Good morning. Oh boy, I'm really nervous. Um, so it's when I uh, told Ren that I would, uh, uh, when I agreed to tell you all what I was thankful for, it's funny how hard that can be, not because I'm not thankful, but just because there's so many things that I'm thankful for. It was, oh, sorry. It was kind of like, you know, trying to fit too many things, you know, through, uh, in a small amount of time. But I promise you I will be brief. And um, I guess a couple of things that I'm thankful for that, that kept coming up in my mind is, uh, you know, God's mercy and, and God's forgiveness. Uh, I don't know where I'd be without it. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Um, we all make mistakes, but, you know, without God's mercy and without uh, forgiveness and knowing that that, that that was there and really feeling it, um, I would have been lost for sure. Um, I'm, ex I'm very, very grateful for my family, for my, for my wife and uh, for our, our children. They have saved my life many, many, many times over. I can't stress that they have, they've really saved my life uh, from, uh, you know, yeah. So uh, I am so grateful uh, to them and I love them very much. Um, our house is a lively house. We have, you know, it's a big pot of crazy pretty much all the time. And, uh, you know, uh, we all have our own kind of unique peculiarities and uh, I'm very grateful that they accept uh, me for who I am. I tend to walk to the beat of a different drummer uh, sometimes, so uh, they're, they're very loving and accepting of me and, and that, that means a great deal. I'm grateful. Uh, my sister Lisa, um, she's a couple years older than me. She passed away in 2004 of breast cancer, but I'm very grateful to have known her and to have been a part of of her life um, and to have spent so much time with her uh, at the end of her life. I'm grateful that she's not suffering anymore and that I know that she's in a much better place. Um, so, you know, I tell, uh, I tell people, especially music students, that, you know, one of the, there's not many guarantees, you know, in life, but a guarantee is that if you practice an instrument, you will get better. If you practice every day for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you will be a very good musician. It's just a guarantee. It, it can't not happen, no matter what kind of person you are. Um, so, but I also feel the same way about prayer. Uh, you know, I really, it's guaranteed. If you pray, God will, will find a place in, in your heart, and, and, and it will happen. Um, I don't generally believe in ghosts or aliens or, or kind of stuff like that, but I believe in, in angels. I believe that God is present in our life here and everywhere, and uh, I'm grateful. I'm very grateful for that. So I guess, um, you know, my son told me last night, he wasn't feeling well yesterday, and I was holding him last night, and he said, Daddy, you're going you're gonna to take care of me. And I said, yeah. Now he's two and a half. Uh, I said, yeah, mommy and daddy are going to take care of you. And he says, you're not going to let anything happen to me. And I said, no, you know, we're going to take care of you. But I'm grateful for that moment because, you know, in that moment, you know, I, you know, when we give thanks, we become aware of what we have. And when we're aware of what we have, we become aware of what others may not have. In, in their life, present in their life. And when we become aware, you know, it, all the major religions, suffering is a big role in their religion. So when we, we become aware of that suffering, we're able to ask for help and we look to God for help. And when we do that, we receive his blessing and we receive that help. And then we know what it means to look to others and, and help them. So it's very important to give thanks. Um, I'm very thankful that I'm here. Uh, that I'm sober and that, uh, you know, I love my family uh, and that I am loved by my children and family. So, thank you.